Hello guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. Today I'm going to be showing you a sneak peek of the new Critter Cannon Mark II. Now, I'm going to explain the differences between Mark 1 and Mark 2 in a second. First, I am on a dev build, which stands for development, and uh, you guys can't get your hands on it. This will be coming out to you guys this weekend when the trader comes, and he'll be carrying this guy right here the critter cannon mark 2 so it's a little better than mark 1 the only difference is the critters this is a level 5 it automatically upgrades it depending on your armory level i think it's your armory level and not your hq level but uh level 5 which is the max level you'll have eight critters per burst mark 1 um, it was only six critters so you get two more critters per burst which may not seem like a lot but it is a lot. So for Mark 5, I mean, for Mark 2, level 5, it costs a million gold to get one day worth of this little guy right here. And now we technically have him for what, five days? Five days. So we can use him for five days and uh, everything else is the same about it. Okay, guys, we have eight boats of fully maxed Critter Cannon Mark 2s. Here's what we're going to do. You know, I could go into my map and attack some player bases, but the player bases, since it is a development build, the player bases would look like this base. So we're just going to go into the operation menu and start ourselves some bottleneck. Oops. And we're going to do a couple attacks on it. We're going to see how far we can get. Uh, it's just using the critter cannons, of course. You know, spawning up some troops here. I might have to boost up my gunboat energy also. But uh, we'll just start with uh, this base right here. And I should have grabbed myself some Everspark. But you know what? Energy drink will be nice also. So, one thing to note is these um, proto troops, is what they're called. The proto troops actually do not have. Um, they don't have any, like, collisions, so they can clump up very easily, or they have very, very minimal collisions. All of my critters are going to die here. Um, they have very, oh man, perfect. They have very minimal collisions, but um, that is just something to note. So they could all stand, like, in the same pixel, or at least as far as I can tell. But, um, you know, it's only for a weekend. It's not even a big deal, because it's only for a weekend. Like, if it was a permanent troop, they would obviously want to change the way it works, to an extent, I mean. Okay, so, basically, I don't think there is a max for how many critters it can spawn at a time. So, it will just keep shooting out critters for the entire battle. Um, and, you know, critters not the strongest troop, but when they come in full force, every... Dang it, how fast do they shoot? One, two, three, four. Is it four seconds? So they shoot every four seconds. They shoot eight critters every four seconds. I guess it's not eight critters every four seconds. It's um, it, it shoots eight critters and then it waits four seconds and then it begins its process of shooting eight new critters out. And the process takes one, two, three, three seconds four it might even take four seconds it's honestly not a big deal but um, all you need to know is it does spawn quite a lot of critters to put it in comparison here my uh, bullet private bullet I was gonna say sergeant private bullet here has barely been touched and yes he can truncate damage but he's fine he hasn't been touched yet so you know he's fine also we got the turrets here or turrets I don't know. I've always called it turret, but I feel like it's turret. We'll call it a turret. The turrets are here. You'll see how much I play video games. I don't play video games like at all. So we didn't lose any critter cannons yet. They have a very large range, and I did not notice this grapple hook. And now we are starting to lose some actually. So drop some more shocks here. Um, I mean it kind of needs to go down because it's hurting my. My strategy here, I didn't see it. My little turrets back here still doing some work. Okay, so this was not a success. Um, I was able to eh, do okay. <laughs> not amazing. But we're gonna do one more attack 
so you guys can kind of see what it's gonna look like I'm feeling some sliding block guys <laughs> um, really do not like all of this stuff up here but what we are going to do is we're gonna drop a barrage and I don't think I'll be able to drop all my troops here yeah I need a little more energy I just don't want my critters to all die by these mines, and I know what's going to happen. My critters are going to die by some of the mines, but I don't want it that way, guys. I don't want it that way. Anyway, we're going to see how this one goes. Um, I, I'm, I'm just going to spawn this last guy, get our hero down, then spend my energy taking out all of these mines here, because these mines are nasty. Um, mostly the shock mines, because the shock mines are no fun being kind of mean to my troops here but also the other mines and also the mines here because my critters will all be at full force at that point and we do not want a couple mines just wiping out my entire army so even if my critters do die up at the front line I have bullet and bullet will be able to provide them some extra backup okay so honestly guys um you know it's cool and all but we've seen it before it only is a little bit better between mark one and mark two so there's not like an insane amount of new footage here but it is fun to see two more critters every four seconds so it's nice we are kind of losing our troops so we're gonna drop a shock down to help us out a little bit wait until we get our critter army reserves back up to full force we're just gonna keep shocking the clump until we're out of energy because I want I just want as many critters spawned as we possibly can and we just gotta keep shocking to get to that point guys I'm always a little late on my shocks also so that's no good got a rocket launcher down there as well and we'll keep dropping our shocks over here you know just keeping it steady we don't want to do anything too stupid I do not like this machine gun over there okay we'll do one more shock mainly to shock to shock launcher because I feel like that's gonna slow down my troops and now see we could shock all of that I don't quite know how we are going to do this but all the splash damage, well, the major splash damage is taken out. We just have that nasty shock launcher. And as soon as that's over, we'll be all set. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to drop a flare over here. And that will get bullet in our critter uh, tanks, cannons. And then we'll drop a flare up here. We'll get... We'll get a turret down, actually. Turrets are pretty cheap, it seems like. Now we have our line of critters instantly getting fried and not able to do, like, anything. But our hero here is what's going to save us. Being out on the front line, taking all the damage, and all of my tanks are here. We'll get a couple medkits down, because I'm worried. We'll keep our hero alive. And uh, that's the mango. We just gotta keep him alive. And machine guns do end up taking out my hero very, very fast. You know what? Let's shop a shock here. There's way too much splash coming in at that point. And if we can shock most of the splash damage, that will allow us to spawn just loads more critters. Loads more critters. Yeah. Okay. We're almost out of time. So it was. A very long battle not enough energy so boost up your energy if you want to try this out I hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did be sure to drop a like as always uh, we'll get more footage of this and we'll do a separate turret video uh, probably tomorrow we'll do something fun we'll do like an NPC base builder and try to drop as many turrets as possible but um I hope you guys did enjoy the sneak peek if you liked the video make sure you drop a like as always and I'll see you guys next time Bye.